everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We are going to do a randomized run here as Judas again. I understand, you know, there might be a little bit of vanilla run fatigue, but call me superstitious, but I am looking forward to hopefully breaking this kind of curse of bad play uh, and bad drops that I've been receiving lately. So I'm hoping that a vanilla run is exactly what the doctor ordered, and we're switching up routine here. Usually, I record uh, Binding of Isaac episodes, you know, as soon as I wake up in the morning, thinking, you know, I'm fresh, I'm ready to go. Uh, there's no the feminine odor getting me down. That was <laughs> the joke that probably came out the wrong way. But now I'm recording this Isaac episode at the end of the day. My thinking being, you know, instead of being all like pre-caffeinated, I am like post-caffeinated many, many times. And, uh, you know, Northern Lion's brain engine is running at full capacity, which is still maybe not that impressive to a lot of people. But uh, it might give me a better chance for success here. And we'll see because it's been a lot of episodes in a row with not so fantastic results, I will admit. We're going to hope to turn that around here. And, you know, a very basic start here. Cellar part one is Judas. We're going to go to the item room before we fight the boss, just in case we run across a very difficult boss. It's possible that this item room will end up saving us. Obviously, uh, primarily the, the main piss-off recently has been that I've been encountering uh, item rooms that have primarily been giving me spacebar items that are not better than the item that I currently hold, which is always a little bit annoying. So I do hold the Book of Belial. I don't want spacebar items. Little Steven is a great one to get. Big reason why, you know, familiar that does extra damage, a-okay. I don't really mind the fact that his shots are homing. It doesn't really do that much for me, but it also doesn't cost me anything. Uh, but the uh, fact that we get this means that if we end up fighting Steven, he won't be able to drop Little Steven, and thus we'll have to drop the damage upgrade that will be for us and us alone, which would be fantastic. But anyway, first things first, let's just destroy everybody up in here. We're getting extra keys, which is beautiful. And there is always the off chance that we might be able to go to the shop. We do have seven cents now, as well as two bombs, which would allow us to find the secret room. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to use one of these bombs to uh, open up that chest over there in the hopes that this will contain uh, some money that I can use. Then I'll probably fight the boss, see what the boss gives us, and then uh, we will decide where our uh, our future lies on this run. I was thinking that maybe that was going to be the secret room. We got a bomb and a key for that, so that was definitely well worth it. Um, we might look for the secret room. It's always a little tricky on the first floor because the secret room doesn't always appear uh, in the place where you'd want it to appear. Let's see if we get a penny out of that. We do not. And our boss is going to be uh, the Widow. So obviously, finally, uh, after an entire floor of not using Book of Belial, I can finally release the crack in here, and we should find ourselves in a very easy position against one of the bosses that I consider to be uh, the easiest on this floor. Now, with him dead, we will take Squeezy. Uh, not my favorite upgrade to get at this point, but the extra spirit hearts do give us a little bit of survivability. Let's use a bomb to look for the secret room. It is there, that's actually really useful, and we are going to get to above 15 cents. We're at 17 cents, and with three keys, forgive me for tooting my own horn, because, you know, it's worth noting the game put the pieces in place for me to be able to have a good run here, uh, on the first floor at least, have a good run on this floor, but I think I played it very well as well, and now we end up picking up the Nun's Habit, which is going to make things a lot easier for us when it comes to using this Book of Belial as frequently as is humanly possible. We still lack the most important thing early on a Judas run, which is health, but we have keys, we have a little bit of money, we have a bomb, and we have some spirit hearts, which we can use to maintain our survivability. Uh, for at least a little while, and we're on the basement, which, you know, presumably should be easier than the cellar. Plus, we got little Steven, which is a, a passive upgrade, uh, that will allow us to do a little bit more damage. So, my recap of the first floor, very positive, uh, could be better, but definitely, definitely could have been worse, and I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth to complain, uh, about the, uh, kind of advantages that we already have. Nuns have it after the first floor is absolutely amazing. Fifteen cents on the first floor is totally remarkable. Pill worries the shit out of me, but we'll, we'll talk that through uh, once we get a chance. We'll cross that bridge once we come to it. Keep in mind, uh, there is a tinted rock here. That's awesome. I have a bomb, even better. I can uh, use Book of Belial on this boss trap room. Oh, that's a weird situation. Okay, first things first. What does this one give us? That's speed plus range? Speed plus range. Well worth the key that I spent to get in here. Speed is beneficial. Range, uh, also beneficial, but maybe less so. Let's check out what we've got in our mob, our boss trap room. That's the crate, which is going to give me another key. Oh, that was so stupid of me to actually uh, walk over that, but that's okay. Uh, the fact that we are going to get another key here uh, is awesome, because it means that I will be able to open that golden chest kind of guilt-free. Uh, we're still not going to have enough money in all likelihood to go to the shop, but that's okay. I'll probably take both of these pills as well, just to kind of, you know, figure out what they are, essentially. Let's try not to get hit one more time on this boss fight. We did kind of get screwed on the item here. Uh, crate's not a bad item by any stretch of the imagination, and, you know, it does give us some much-needed consumables. That being said, uh, I, I would have preferred just a raw HP upgrade so that I could, uh, improve my, uh, 
chances of survival. So we have the High Priestess. Let's take this pill. Maybe we'll get lucky. Bad gas. Uh, at least we know what it is. Uh, we'll open up this golden chest now, and that's uh, money, spirit hearts, and bombs. Fantastic. Our shop may indeed be viable now. Let's take this pill. Balls of steel. Fantastic. I'm glad we know what it is. Uh, so I do have this High Priestess card. I want to keep the Sun card with us, but we'll use the High Priestess to kill the boss. Basically because why not? Uh, we'll, we'll just walk back and pick up that Sun card. Uh, I was thinking maybe there was a chance that the secret room was there. It's pretty unlikely though. We actually got two bombs and a Spirit Heart for blowing up that one uh, Tinted Rock there, which is fantastic. Probably because we had the matchstick that presented itself as the opportunity. Tammy's head, or sorry, Guppy's head, not my favorite item. Uh, but since it cost us nothing, I'm not going to complain too hard about it. And we're just exploring the entirety of the floor before we make decisions about how we're going to uh, spend our resources. Because with only one key, I'm a little scared about going to the shop without knowing uh, if we're going to have enough money to get anything. But we do have enough bombs to probably find the secret room. This is going to carry uh, another spirit heart bonus. So maybe we will also earn a... Uh, what was I going to say? Maybe we will also earn a, an HP upgrade from Larry Jr. here. But at the very least, a spirit heart. And a, hopefully a deal with the devil afterwards. Or maybe I can pick up a mom's knife. We have so many spirit hearts so early. This is unprecedented. Uh, we get a range upgrade as well, which I'm not that interested in. And our deal with the devil, unfortunately, would kill us. Otherwise, I would definitely take them up on some of those offers, because those are some really good items in there. Uh, but we can't make it happen. So rather than dwelling on it, let's instead just move on. We definitely want to go back at the very least to pick up this uh, sun card, which is exceptionally important. That is not where the secret room would be. That could be a complete waste of a bomb. Let's put another one here, just in case. Okay, so I wasted two bombs there by being a big ding-dong. Uh, and this one is not the secret room either. Jesus, where's the secret room in this situation then? That is very strange. Um, if only there was a blood bank on this floor, I would feel a little bit better about things. With only one bomb remaining, I don't necessarily want to uh, look for... Or I don't want to necessarily want to go to the shop right away. But if there's a good item in there, maybe we should use our key just to see. There's a good chance that there will be a key in there. There is a decent chance that there will be something on sale. Why don't we check it out? There is a pill on sale. Is that Balls of Steel? You know what? We can... Well, we, don't, we that's bad gas. So that was a bad pickup. But uh, we do get the key as well. Um, so, you know, maybe that was not worth it in a practical sense. But uh, I'm, I'm glad we went through it regardless. Just to see if maybe there was something on sale in there. We didn't miss out on too much. We basically paid eight cents for a key. Which is uh, not... Well, we paid a key or, and eight cents for a key. Which is a terrible trade. But we lost eight cents for nothing. Uh, in any case, though, could be worse. We could have walked in there and not gotten anything as a result of it. So um, I'm I'm okay with where we are right now. Let's see what we have in our uh, mob trap room here: a key and a bomb. Since we are so low on consumables, I decided that, that this would be a prudent decision for us. Keep in mind that since we have the matchstick as well, um, any room where I have the chance to engage in some combat is kind of a smart decision for me to go through, in my opinion, at least, uh, because you know we'll amass some bombs and in traditional Isaac fashion, because we're starting. Uh, on easier floors and moving towards harder floors, if we can stockpile bombs early, that is uh, in my best interest, I think. So let's get this guy to pop up again. And easy enough. One more should do it. And another chest, which contains more money. Money is valuable. We got 222 right now. We can trade a bomb and a key for that golden chest. I'd say a bomb and a key is roughly, uh, probably like the equivalent to the average payout of a golden chest. Uh, so I'm not totally sure I want to go for that yet. Maybe if I have three keys, because obviously uh, the keys become less valuable once you have enough to go to the shop and the item room on a particular floor. In the meantime, though, let's continue onwards here. Still looking for that first HP upgrade, or alternatively, the, the thing that lets me uh, justify a Hail Mary into, like, permanent spirit heart onlyness here. Because uh, as of right now, we're still rolling on that existing... One mere heart that we have as Judas, which is not necessarily the best for us. Have we taken any damage? We have. We've, we've taken one bit of damage, I think, over this entire run. That's pretty good so far. There's two, because again, as soon as I mention it, of course, it, it has to uh, fall by the wayside. There is an opportunity to trade one bomb for two here, which is a good deal in my eyes. I don't know about you guys. Hopefully this doesn't just explode the bridge. Sometimes that has happened to me. Especially lately, for whatever reason. And here's our... Oh, that was so bad. Here's our item room and our boss room as well. And again, we just want to go through all this just in case we get Pageant Boy or something. The Stars card takes me immediately to the item room. Where we will get My Best Friend, which we'll pick up and then put back down. And I am very thankful that I didn't waste a key to make that happen. Because that is a trash item. And again, we're falling victim to something we fall victim to a lot. Uh, namely, worse items than the one we're holding showing up all the goddamn time. And thus rendering item rooms completely worthless. 
Now, uh, two, p two bombs in this situation, I think is a good idea. We got another key and a penny for that. Uh, fair trade in my eyes, how about this one? We're gonna have to use two bombs here to get this tinted rock. Better pay out with like small rock or something. One spirit heart. Two bombs for one spirit heart? You know, it's not the worst trade in the world. I'm okay with it. Especially since bombs are uh, pretty easy to come by when we have the matchstick, even though we do only have one remaining. So maybe I shouldn't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth just yet. We're fighting Peep, which is good news, because we can finally snag that uh, much-needed HP upgrade. Peep is already uh, beyond... Oh, such bad damage. Beyond Half Dead, which sounds like a great name for a Steven Seagal movie. Uh, I thought I was going to get hit by Creep there. I didn't. I get another Tears upgrade with uh, another Stars card, unfortunately. Uh, it's not gonna do too much for us, and we get another Spirit Heart, so I would say it's down to the next floor. Tears, uh, you know, th through the roof right now, uh, but could be definitely better on a number of other fronts. So we're on the Catacombs, and we continue to only have one HP, which is very disconcerting because we have no means with which to replenish our Spirit Hearts. We have a lot of Spirit- Oh, that was so bad. We have a lot of Spirit Hearts, but we have no means with which to replenish the Spirit Hearts that we do have, or to gain more, uh, which is frightening. Quite frankly, and now I'm starting to take dumb damage. I've been a little bit flustered. Not flustered in like an I'm gonna lose it and show up on our cringe level, hopefully, anyway. Uh, but flustered in the like, I'm making some not great decisions, so let's just slow it down. It's worth keeping in mind that as Judas, we're doing alright right now. Especially if I can manage to pick up something like the Relic. Uh, then I could get rid of this last remaining heart container, pick up a Mom's Knife or another deal with the Devil. Uh, this is definitely Book of Allow worthy in my eyes. Uh, and then make some good stuff happen. Get permanent Polaroid Invincibility, that was incredibly bad damage again, and I will have lost a cent overall. That guy got trapped over there, I should really have taken out that guy first, that's okay though. Extra bombs, good news. Don't get hit in the impending explosion here. And with little Steve, it's unfortunate that that first floor has provided me with the vast majority of the benefit that I've received so far. I would really love to pick up some more damage upgrades. Teleport is not worth getting when you already have Book of Belial, and again, uh, the affliction that has uh, hit us so often continues to hit us here. Spacebar items that are not nearly as good as the one we already own. This being said, decent damage. Single penny. That was not super easy to get, but that's okay. With only one bomb, I don't feel comfortable looking for the secret room, which is unfortunate considering, you know, with the matchstick, we should have more bombs by now. Uh, it's okay. Let's take out the spiders first, which should make the rest of this room substantially easier. Especially if we can avoid getting hit by that guy. And then there's only one remaining. We get another bomb for our troubles here. We need to open up a seam. That's the issue right now. I'm amazed that I didn't take damage. Uh, and still have not taken damage at some point here. There we go. Now the room has uh, become grossly simplified. Thank you, Steven, for helping me to take out that fly from afar. And our item room, in this case, is giving us the razor blade. Which, again, I I'm... Hesitant to say that all of my problems are caused by bad luck at this point, but you got to admit, even if you're my harshest detractor, has got to be like, oh, that fucking sucks, man. <laughs> like we we have picked up one or two. We picked up two uh, passive items from shops that have been okay. Uh, growth hormones, I think, the one that gave us speed plus range via the syringe, uh, and uh, little Steven, which are not game breaking items by any stretch of the imagination. They're just all right. Um, and then three items which I haven't had the opportunity to pick up because they're not as good as Book of Belial. That being said, we do have Book of Belial, so I should keep that in perspective with my complaints. Now we are going up against the, uh, Wretched here, the Wicked. I should really at some point, uh, look at these boss names, whether in-game or on the wiki, uh, to avoid that kind of embarrassment in the future. But anyway, uh, let's just keep holding downwards here and easy kill, deal with the devil potentially earned. Well, we finally got our, uh, HP upgrade. I believe this conveys a damage increase as well. Let's look for our secret room, at which point we might be able to make something good happen with this uh, bomb, and then this key, and go to the shop, but we'll see. I feel like I'm slipping here, like I I'm losing traction, uh, but we're doing fine. I mean, we're strong enough to continue kind of at the pace that we're continuing at here for at least a little. That's not the secret room. Are you kidding me? I don't even want to use this extra bomb, but I feel hamstrung into it. That's not it either. Secret rooms apparently uh, completely borked the formula again. I guess we shall just go down to the depths part one, and at this point, I don't know, man. It's a very weird run so far. We still have the sun card, which uh, is going to provide us with some benefit, of course, um, whether it's... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Whether it's actually benefiting us from the point of uh, giving us extra health or just revealing which direction to go to get to a boss at some point later in the game. We did pick up two free keys here, which is fantastic. Uh, if we find more golden chests, we can maybe make good use of that. 
I'm not 100% confident, but I'm also um, not necessarily 100% despondent about our current condition. I I'm tempted to use Book of Belial, but I think, yeah, that one enemy was already like 60% dead, so it's kind of a waste at this point. Maybe we'll try to use it on the next room. Maybe I should be going to curse rooms and sacrificing my spirit hearts, which we have not really picked up many of in the recent times. Two more spiders. One hit is enough to kill them. Uh, and really, again, this is our strength still almost entirely comes from that first floor where we picked up Little Steven and uh, Nun's Habit. And we started with Book of Belial, of course, so we're not that much stronger than we started as. Although, uh, the extra damage by way of meat and the extra health uh, is maybe something that I shouldn't really complain about. That was uh, terrible dodging on my part. Should have gotten the fuck out of there faster, no question about it. We found the second secret room, which finally someone throws me a fucking bone here. Uh, it's Isaac's head? I'm gonna stick with the matchstick for now, because honestly, I think I need the bombs more than I need the damage. And we are gonna be up against the boss right away, which quite frankly, I don't see a reason not to do this. Because it's not like the item rooms and shops have really been benefiting me substantially. That's not fair to the shops, I haven't really been able to go to them because of my lack of uh, money. Thank you for the spirit heart, but we'll go up against whoever this is. Uh, Mask of Infamy, of course! Just to make it a uh, little bit more difficult on us. That being said, we should be able to do a lot of damage very, very quickly. Uh, but I worry that we're not going to be able to hit this mask when it counts. Because the heart's going to die any second now. That was easy. Uh, this is the hard part now. Couple shots are going to come in on each pass here. Mostly because I have a speed upgrade. How many hits is this guy going to take? Wouldn't be surprised if it was like 30 or 40. So if each one of these does 10%, um, it's going to take us a goddamn eternity here. Oh, that's bad damage on my part. Sometimes he doesn't turn around, and sometimes he does, which makes it uh, difficult to predict, shall we say. Each shot does like... Oh, wow, that was not so bad. And we actually get Pageant Boy and a Deal with the Devil. And is this where I sell myself downriver just to pick up a half-decent item? I think it is. So we're taking Brimstone for a couple of reasons here. One being that it's going to allow us to clear rooms more effectively and our existing damage is good. The other being that uh, we are going to finally try out this Cobalt Streak sna slash uh, Biz Snap trick. Uh, where if I continually tap the brimstone button, uh, it will do more damage. Presumably, anyway. Let's see if we run into greed in here. We do not. We get the compass, though. So we're going to very much uh, be on the lookout for some extra money here. And if we manage to pick up an extra three cents, that compass pickup is extraordinary. More bombs means more chances to look for the secret room if necessary. Apparently, there's no more enemies left on this entire floor. So uh, maybe at some point. There we go. So let's try this. I don't know if that does extra damage. It... it it certainly looks weird. It managed to hit him even though I was looking downwards. Okay, very strange. And we get a quarter here, so that's going to make the compass uh, the easiest purchase that we've ever had, basically. Uh, and for once, that was, like, not warranted. <laughs> I would have drastically preferred to get that on an earlier floor. Alright, this brimstone trick is very strange, but it seems to be working. Even when I'm not facing in the right direction, uh, it's still hitting him, which is making this a little unusual. And certainly, uh, I could be accused of cheesing the game right now, but uh, it's... An intellectual curiosity that's helped me out here. Okay, Skeleton Key makes this a no-brainer. Let's pop Book of Revelations. And then, oh my god, I popped Brimstone there, just didn't do any damage. Not Book of Revelations, sorry, Book of Belial. Okay, let's do standard Brimstone, because something weird is going on here. When I can't see my shots, that concerns me a little bit. And we are already, like, one-shotting uh, every Angel Fetus. So I might as well not concern myself too much with that. Now, obviously, health is uh, the most important issue with us right now. We are charging our shots super quickly as well. Uh, yeah, with health being the mo most important issue for us, I have no idea how we're going to make this work for us in the long run. But it's going to be fun nonetheless on the way. The way down, probably. Wow, that is a ton of money. Now, of course, when it rains, it pours. We have tons of money, an extraordinary amount of keys, but no health to sustain ourselves. But, you know, we will get the Polaroid on the next floor, and maybe that is going to be enough for us while abusing this kind of... Uh, mechanic to make some good stuff happen, so obviously I will pick up uh, maybe absolutely everything in here. We still have enough money to get something on the next floor, although we are almost certainly going to run into greed, so let's see what we got in here. Oh! I was 99% confident I was going to get hit there. L oh, there's a mini boss for us, and it is greed, but there's no point really in fighting him, I suppose, uh, instead. Why don't we just go down to the next floor? We've turned things around in a very strange way. We haven't... We did a 360 degree turn, and now we're going to moonwalk towards failure instead of just careening at it head first, I guess. Um, Necropolis, starting immediately uh, getting Book of Shadows, which, uh, you know, tempting, but no thanks, I guess. Another item that is not going to do us all that much good. And uh, the Brimstone trick seems to work. I mean, I know it works, but it seems to be working the way I'm using it 
coin purse could be very valuable here. Remember, there's a Balls of Steel pill uh, in here, which I'm very excited about. Looks like we're going to two-shot uh, Chubb if I could actually hit him. Uh, I think the thing with Brimstone, when you do the multiple tapping thing, the shot looks like it changes direction, but it actually still hits in the same direction, which is very, very confusing at first glance. So we will be fighting, what, two bosses here? Yes, the other one will be uh, Peep, who should be much easier for me to hit. Keep in mind, I don't have a uh, Book of Belial charged up here, so each shot is doing a decent amount of damage, but not as much as it would be doing uh, if I was doing like a traditional boss fight at this point. Oh, get the F out of there. He is almost dead, and I'm really hoping... I think that's two bad gas pills, which is not really worth anything, but if I don't take any damage, then, you know, this room basically just served to charge up Book of Belial anyway. It's not like we have substantial negatives as a result of our time here. We didn't take any damage. So, uh, one of these maybe is Balls of Steel. Nope. Let's see what we get. Tears up. That's good news. Health up. That's also good news. Uh, and bad gas, which we will just keep the sun card, obviously. Uh, so what are we looking for now? Obviously, the shop is uh, the most important thing, even though we almost certainly have a, uh, a greed fight kind of awaiting us in there. Weird trick, man. I don't know what to think about it. I mean, it gets the job done, so I appreciate it, but uh, it's the first time I've ever used it. It's kind of like using chocolate milk and brimstone simultaneously, the way you have to keep tapping the button. Uh, strange, but, uh, you know, whatever works, I suppose. I would really love the ability to fly. That's the kind of thing that, you know, you don't need me to tell you. Sugar Ray already wrote a song about it. Uh, and if you don't time it effectively, it turns out very weird. I don't even know. Maybe this is all the placebo effect. Maybe I'm just like buying into it and it's just like dividing the damage from Brimstone. This has got to be a great. Ooh, we have Map and Compass. Wow. This is, believe it or not, creating a situation where I almost believe I have a chance to win. Even though our health is super low. It's an interesting situation at the very least. So uh, let's make our way down uh, to this boss fight. I am not going to this curse room. That should not surprise anyone here. And with Brimstone, I should be able to trap these dudes in the corner, essentially, and then just run away. Hit them all very easily. Oh, that went strangely, but I did not get hit, so I'm uh, a fan of how that worked out, I suppose. And Brimstone will never be the same. We don't need little Steven to do our dirty work for us anymore, I would say. I think you just have to tap it. I'm not sure if there's a rhythm or you have to just tap it quickly. Uh, whatever, though. Even like without this brimstone trick, these enemies are, are not up to snuff uh, with respect to the damage that we're doing right now. So I, d I probably don't even need to mess around with it too much yet. But against bosses, it's it might as well. Why not, right? Extra bombs and keys as a result of that. I think we gained one bomb total. That's all right. And we'll continue moving onwards. Does little Steven get damage buffs as you get damage buffs? If so, that would be amazing. Oh, careful. Almost got tagged there. And now, obviously, the most important thing is just avoid taking damage. If I can avoid taking damage, and I'm avoiding picking up red hearts as long as I can as well, uh, just to keep the uh, dream alive here, getting permanent Polaroid invincibility, uh, then we may stand a chance of success. It's kind of unlikely. Uh, but it, it certainly, its likeliness has improved very recently, so I don't know, man. We might stand a chance. Let's pick up some more money. Let's go fight Mom. Obviously, we'll be getting rid of the matchstick, uh, and we'll pop Book of Belial. That doesn't do as much damage as I was kind of hoping that it did. Oh, that one did, though. Okay, so let's wait for the foot to come down, and then tap like crazy. That is decent damage. Now, if we can get some more damage buffs to that, that will be a substantial improvement. That was really bad damage for me to take there. Should just focus on the bodily structures. Those are probably going to be easier for me to hit. Uh, and I don't have to worry about the, the damage from the foot as much. One more pass here should be enough. There we go. Um, we still have to kill this thing, I guess? Okay, that was weird. Uh, we will take our other HP upgrade just in the hopes that I can get rid of it for a deal with the devil later. And we do have the sun card, but we also have map plus compass, so we don't really need the sun card. Uh, oh, that sucks. <laughs> and by that, I mean uh, the fact that we have a... Um, Curse of Blindness on this floor, so we can't even do anything with our map and our compass, nor our sun card, with respect to finding the boss straight away. That's okay, though. Good news is that we are still doing a lot of damage. We still have some uh, red hearts, which, if we lose our spirit hearts, can sustain us for a little while. Uh, I don't like that, but I have the speed necessary to get away, so basically that was just risk for nothing. Um, we'll do this again, because we do have the keys necessary to open every golden chest in existence, and, you know, I would say that paid out pretty nicely for us. If we could find a judgment or something, that would be great. 
In the meantime, we'll continue uh, abusing this trick when necessary, but uh, otherwise, just trying to avoid taking damage. I don't know, man. The real question is, I mean, if we get to Blue Baby, can we take him out? Absolutely. Um, assuming we have a decent amount of health. Uh, he is a tanky motherfucker, no question about it. But uh, we're doing a lot of damage, especially with this trick. This is a dead end, which I'm actually kind of pleased with, honestly, because uh, we're definitely outclassing this floor, which means this just gives me more potential to pick up uh, consumables. But the problem is going to be defeating those rooms before Blue Baby and Isaac, because we're not out of the woods there yet either, um, without taking a substantial amount of damage, which is not necessarily... Uh, that was really stupid. It's not necessarily uh, super likely. That being said, again, Stranger Things, as always, I'll say, have happened. Uh, we might be able to pick up a deal with the Angel. At this point, if I could get rid of uh, Book of Belial to pick up a uh, Book of Revelations or the Nail, I would probably do it because I'm thinking that our tankiness is our number one concern. Or our, I guess technically our lack of tankiness as of right now is our number one concern. Uh, and we can, you know, abuse this brimstone trick to do a little bit more damage, but uh, there's nothing that gives us extra health right now. So it would be a compromise. I would much rather just pick up the relic uh, or the miter, of course, but uh, again, you can't always get what you want. Extra 10 bombs for fighting a couple of bosses. I don't think it's worth it. We have reached yet another dead end, unfortunately, and uh, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of fatigued and I just want to find the boss. Now, this is, a, again, watch the brimstone trick in action here. One shot does, wow, actually quite a lot of damage, whereas tapping it out... And it also does quite a lot of damage. I think I've just got to be a little bit more vigilant about how quickly I tab it. Uh, and maybe talk with Bitsnap, see if it's actually a timing thing. Anyway, uh, should be able to knock this Larry Jr. out of the equation pretty quickly. And one last one. Easy. Uh, still a pretty big floor here on the Womb Part 1. So this might not be a dead end. Well, everything's a dead end, I guess, if you think about it, but uh, this might be the dead end that actually has the boss room at the end of it. More keys, fantastic. You never know when those are going to come in handy. Maybe we'll run across a room with 98 golden chests on it. Uh, and Nina will write a song about it, and it will be majestic. We're up to 40 cents. Hey, there's our boss room. And there's some awful damage for me to take right there. And uh, almost got tagged again there. we got to take out these nubs just to make it easier for me to do some damage in here. All right, there's... Wow, thank you, Green Nub. You are actually a, a scholar and a gentleman. One more hit. Should be able to take him out. And the Eternal Heart. Interesting choice. Uh, but I am going to pick it up because I think, like, basically, at this point, uh, raw tankiness is my major concern. So, again, uh, abusing the Brimstone trick as much as is humanly possible here. He's going to be dead very shortly, and if he spawns zombies, they will die too. We may have earned a deal with the devil as a result of this. We definitely picked up a little extra health. Obviously, I want the deal with the devil. Because the permanent Polaroid invincibility would allow me to take out the bosses probably much easier. We get one orbital, big deal, and uh, we get the nail. Well, I, I guess I should put my money where my mouth is, right? Uh, I suggested... We have Nun's Habit, so this is also super important. And Nail actually gives us extra damage as well. So I hate getting rid of Book of Belial. Don't get me wrong, but uh, is this a good idea? I think so. Especially remember... It's basically like picking up the wafer. Every time we take damage, we will get uh, half of uh, that damage returned to us, which is fine. Is, I forgot that we couldn't fly. That was the worst damage I've ever taken, I think. Um, so we will go to the secret room here. Will we go to the library? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Um, and I, I do still think, even if things go wrong, that this was the right decision. I've been wrong before, uh, and I've been wrong before in a major way, but, uh, might as well play this a couple times. Every spirit heart, obviously, exceptionally valuable for me. The map plus compass might be my saving grace here. Alright, well, I, I don't want to accidentally lose the Polaroid, so once trinkets start falling, I have to make some sacrifices, unfortunately. Uh, another easy room for us. Ace of Spades would be fantastic, but, um... Oh, this is actually great because now I, I can crush all of these rocks on this room and possibly find some tinted rocks, which would be amazing. Alright, damage continues to pour in on Loki here. This is basically what we've got to work with now because we don't have uh, the added damage by way of Book of Belial, which is of course disappointing, but uh, again, I think it was a smart decision. There we go, we got extra damage from Small Rock. Um, that was actually not the nails doing, really, uh, but still, lucky regardless. Also picked up another Spirit Heart as a result of our uh, involvement there. Tricky room here. Um, lots of unusual dodging afoot. Luckily, wow, another tinted rock uh, via that secret 
or via another spirit art via that tinted rock that was hidden there by a secret. Um, please tell me that he is dead. Thank you. And a couple more shots here. Should be enough to kill this miniature sloth. That was a tough room. I'm amazed we didn't take damage. Obviously, we'll pick this up and then just put it back down. So we actually managed to turn a profit in terms of health on uh, the wound part two. Substantially two as well. Now let's um, just get these shots coming in here. We all know how this part of the fight goes, I would say, by this point in our Isaac careers, either as, you know, consumers of Isaac content or uh, producers of Isaac content. I expect this is going to be a pretty easy boss fight, all things considered. Considering, oh, that was a really nice assist from uh, little Steven there. We are about halfway through the mom fight. I don't want to use too many more bombs if possible. You never know if these might come in handy for hitting tinted rocks or something like that. Uh, mom is going to continuously throw bombs already. Wow, that's good news. Okay, so we should not have to worry about... Uh, running into a little chub. That was a bad decision on my part, but we will get a um, another nail charge right after this room is done. Or before, if I end up taking damage. I suppose I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch. One more or two more passes here will be enough to kill her. I've been using the glitch on and off. Okay, so I'd say it's up to the next floor now. And again, we can get to this boss very, very easily. So I say we run up here to this room, start pop the nail just to make sure that I'm using it effectively on a room where maybe the extra damage actually is valuable, you never know. Uh, with these bombs, I will take us into the Isaac fight, and I think we can beat Isaac relatively easily. Uh, that money's not necessarily going to help, but uh, I, yeah, I think we'll have a chance against him at the very least. And then, you know, on the chest, 99 keys, so we're definitely opening up those golden chests and anything can happen. I don't know when to use the sun card. I've been saving it for the entirety of the game. It seems like a shame to give it up now. Now, we do have Unorbital. Uh, our Brimstone shots... I just want to test something here. One shot does all right damage. Abusing it seems to do a little bit more. It's hard to tell, though. I think if I... The faster I hit it, the more it does. Not sure if you can see me, um... Or hear me... Mashing the fuck out of this button. Good fight so far, though. Obviously, obviously uh, Isaac doesn't fire as often, uh, because we are using Brimstone, even though it hits him multiple times. Uh, he's almost half dead already. That is a benefit for us, and we haven't taken a single hit, and it makes me think that we may indeed have a small chance of success on this run, and really all we picked up was Brimstone. Brimstone and the nail, uh, and this has put us in a position where we can, you know, look, it's looking like it's fairly obvious we're gonna win. At this point, if we can get an Emperor card, uh, I would be very happy to get rid of my uh, Sun card to pick up the Emperor card and just get to the boss more easily. Because probably the number one risk for me at this point is... Um, oh my god, stop it! Uh, number one risk for me at this point is um, just getting to the Blue Baby fight. So there's another Nail Charge for us. Uh, it's actually our first Nail Charge on this boss fight. Oh my god, it's all falling apart now! Oh, walked into that as well. There's another Nail Charge. It's okay, remember, we're basically taking half damage, but it's adding up. And this is what I get for being a little bit cocky recently. I didn't know that he could spawn so fucking many of these angel fetuses. Jesus Christ, and they're all shooting simultaneously. Okay, he's dead. Gave us a heart we can't use. Now things, and now we're up against it again. Uh, interesting. Now we go down to the chest and see if there's anything here that will change uh, our path, basically. Uh, bomb bag. Not really that useful anymore. Teleport. I should have picked that up earlier. X-ray goggles and mom's bra. Real bad. X-ray goggles will save us a bomb on getting to the secret room, uh, which we're not going to do regardless. We know where the secret room is, and we're not going to go that way, because we're going to go directly to the boss. Which we will then use the sun card on to function kind of like a Necronomicon. It'll do very little damage, uh, but it might end up saving our lives. You never know. Spirit heart drops are very much appreciated. This is going to be a close call, I hope. It's either going to be a close call, or we're not even going to get to Isaac, so... Um, you know, the best I can hope for is doing all right, I guess. This famine may actually drop a, uh, spirit heart for us, which would be remarkable. Just hide. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, we have the speed necessary to- Oh, that's so shitty. This famine is dead now. Fantastic, okay. We definitely have the speed necessary to get around this war. No question about it. So we're just gonna abuse our, uh, brimstone glitch here, essentially. Don't get hit. Uh, that did a ton of damage. Oh my god, I can't believe he hit me again. Alright, he's gotta die. One more hit. One more hit. We're betting it all on this. Okay, we did get a spirit art for it, so we didn't lose anything. 
coming through here. That's uh, extraordinarily important, as one might expect. We have another war fight, which I'm not happy about. The problem is that if I get hit and use the nail, then war is faster than me, because I do believe the nail slows you down just a touch. Um, so I almost am better off not using the nail and killing him before he hits me. It's almost like if he hits me once, he's more or less guaranteed to hit me twice. Otherwise, I definitely have the speed necessary to get away. Uh, one more. Not quite enough. We'll try this again. But he got pretty close there as well, but we can't even use that half red heart. Now we just run through here, and we are one room away from our final boss fight with a manageable amount of health, I might add. An amount of health that makes me feel like we uh, have a chance of success. On a run where, oftentimes, that seemed like kind of a long shot, so I appreciate it. We'll also be at like the perfect amount of health to start this boss fight, because when we get hit once, then we will um, get our nail charge immediately, and that'll help us do more damage. This tarot card could be useful, you never know. The Hermit. It's useless, actually. So we'll use the Sun card. I'm going to try to save it for when there's angel fetuses on the screen, but I don't know if it really makes it. Whoa, okay. No need to start the fight with, uh, you know, fireworks like that. This is going to be a tight one. We got basically the same amount of health we had against Isaac. Uh, but I had an exceptionally good early fight against Isaac. And an exceptionally bad late fight. And uh, that seems to be hopefully reversed. <laughs> but at the very least, the first part of it is reversed. We, we have a terrible early game here. Um, where I am just hemorrhaging damage. But somehow, why is he firing so much? It's like, they, I knew you were glitching my game, fucker! Okay, you know what? We'll use the sun card. I don't know if, how much that did for us, but he is on the third phase. We've lost a lot of health. Much more than I would have liked. But we come in here and we do the brimstone glitch, and then, um... Hopefully we can neutralize these flies before they become a major issue. Who would have thought that they would be, uh, the principal motherfucker so far on this run? Or not on this run, but on this boss fight. Good news, we're almost entering the third phase of the blue baby fight. And we didn't really lose any health on the second phase so far. Okay, now here come the angel fetuses. This should be interesting. We have popped the nail like twice, so we're doing damage. Oh my god, okay, there's another one. I, I can't believe I didn't get hit like six times in there. There's another one. Oh my god, this is going to be super close. That's more damage. Um, we're on our last legs now. Obviously, so is he, though. And I'm just trying... I'm not even using the glitch anymore. I'm just trying to hit him. There, I used the glitch. I really thought that was going to do it. He's dead. Okay, now just the angel fetuses. And if the angel fetuses die, we've succeeded. All right, well, um, that was kind of a surprising victory. But in any case, we win. So fuck you. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones that are the most entertaining or appropriate. Surprise victory. I appreciate that, that brimstone glitch. Without that, I probably wouldn't have won. Will I use the brimstone glitch in the future? I don't know. I know people are going to be pissed off. Oh, it ruins the balance. It's not intentional. I just wanted to show off kind of an intricacy of that item. Now that it's the first time I've gotten it since I knew that it existed. But in any case, again, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.